And we are pleased to be joined by a group of our customers to share some of their insights and experience, and I believe we have them all on the line. We're just going to do a, a roll call here. Um, first, uh, Maggie, or, or apologies, Margie Gowding. I'm here. Excellent. Stacy Westfall. I'm here. Sharon Clayton. I'm here. Naomi Kirkpatrick. I'm here. Glenda Hayes. I'm here. I believe we're all accounted for. Excellent. Well, what I'd like to do uh, to get us going in the discussion here is go around the circle and give you each the chance to introduce yourself and give us your, your name, your job title, the name of the facility that you're representing, where that's located, the bed size, and your role in the organization. And we will start with Margie. Gee, thanks. I always like being first. <laughs> um, <laughs> This is, I'm Margie Gowdy. I'm the Clinical Document Manager for IASIS Corporation. We are currently located in Franklin, Tennessee, and I manage uh, 25 facilities. Those 25 facilities are built on five different servers for the uh, admission process and five different servers for the web, web form imprint. Um, I, I wish I could tell you exactly how many beds that involved. I'm going to say probably um, 1,200 and forms. We probably have about um, 27,000 pages. Well, that's a, that's a lot of surfaces. Fantastic. Well, I appreciate you being here. Uh, next, we'll go to Glenda Hayes. Hi, I'm Glenda Hayes, and I'm representing Christus Health. Uh, we are uh, a healthcare organization that owns hospitals primarily in Louisiana and Texas. Uh, we have uh, 23 different facilities built uh, on FormFast for the admission and process and web form imprint. We use five different servers, and uh, we're, we're probably about the same bed size and, and surface size as the previous lady. Excellent. Welcome as well. Uh, next, let's go to Naomi Kirkpatrick. Hi, I'm Naomi Kirkpatrick. I'm Systems Analyst for Maine Health, working at Lincoln Health in Damariscotta, Maine. We're a small facility, um, about 25 beds, so you can imagine the size of the other hospitals that have been described are uh, pretty phenomenal. But we're part of Maine Health, which puts us out there as part of a, a much bigger organization. I provide support as an analyst for Meditech. We're on client server 567, I'm sorry, 566. And I'm also their form fast administrator, so I manage the server and I'm responsible for creating and updating um, forms for fast print and on demand. Um, I assist the users with form designer, et cetera, in creating forms and we are quite um, multitasking here in such a small facility. Um, that's about it. Perfect. Uh, next, let's go to Stacy Westfall. Hi, I'm Stacy Westfall. Um, I am the Assistant Director in Information Technology. Um, I work at Columbus Community Hospital. We are located in Nebraska. Um, we are just a single standalone facility, um, 46 46-bed hospital. Um, my role has always been on the clinical side of everything that we use in the hospital. Um, and we use McKesson Paragon as our um, main system. Um, I have been um, lucky enough to um, be using FormFast since we have brought it up. So I am pretty much the single person here that um, does everything with FormFast. Um, we have about 500 jobs built and about 700 merges that we use. Wow, that's great. And finally, we'll go to Sharon Clayton. Hi, I'm the Director of Health Information Management at Phelps County Regional Medical Center. We're located in Rolla, Missouri, which is kind of central Missouri. Um, we are a standalone facility. We're our own, our own little system here. Um, we're licensed about 240 beds. 
uh, my role in the organization with forms is they I'm over the forms committee and over the individual that builds our forms and our forms process. So we have, um, I'm honestly not sure how many forms we have. We're probably around a thousand forms that we have built that we use. Fantastic. So uh, thanks again for everyone for uh, taking the time to be here. Um, what we wanted to do with this section is, is do, uh, touch on a couple of different things. We, we know that there's some individuals who are attending this event to, to find out more about FormFast. They're not FormFast customers yet, uh, but trying to see how it works and some of the value that uh, other hospitals are getting from it. Um, others are long, form, long time FormFast users but want to learn how to use it better. Um, so we want to talk a little bit about uh, your advice to them, uh, ways to optimize the system. But let's let's start with uh, for those that that aren't using FormFast yet, uh, it, going back into their shoes and thinking about how processes were before FormFast was implemented. Uh, what I'd like to do is go around the group and, and talk a little bit about um, before FormFast. What were the processes like? Um, what were some of the challenges that you were facing and why was FormFast brought in to address those? And um, I'll start in the middle of the group this time. <laughs> we'll start with uh, Naomi. <laughs> um, we actually have had FormFast since I believe 2006. Um, and what was interesting was um, it went strong for a couple of years and then we lost our administrator. So I was brought on board to help upgrade FormFast and that's just been within the last couple of years. So we had a few years in between there where forms were not um, probably as organized and distributed the way that they could be with FormFast, and we're using on-demand. So in bringing the server up to date and bringing FormFast where it needed to be on the current version, it has allowed us to put the forms into the hands of the end users. Um, previous to that, we had a department that was responsible for printing forms, and um, oftentimes there would be a disconnect where updated forms wouldn't get into their hands. So um, they were across town. Um, they would have to print reams of paper, bring them out to the hospital, and then come to find out the form wasn't up to date. So, you know, some of this is, it sounds archaic, but it does happen in the real world, and FormFast has helped certainly to help organize and to streamline that process and put the forms out there at the end user's hand so that they can print them as they need them. Great. Yeah, and that's that's probably a common challenge that a lot of hospitals uh, are facing. Um, and uh, for the rest of the audience, I encourage you uh, as we're we're chatting to send in your feedback to the the chat about uh, challenges that you face and ways that uh, you've overcome that um, with FormFast. Um, next, I'd like to go to uh, to Glinda. Um, share a little bit about some of the the processes, the way they were before, before FormFast and how FormFast improved those processes. Well, before FormFast, we were actually, uh, our admissions process was automated in that it printed off automatically with uh, some of the data uh, from our uh, HIS, HCIS system included on those forms, but everything was signed manually and then, of course, it had to be scanned into our um, our long-term uh, data system, and uh, so they elected to bring in HPF, and when they did, we also brought in FormFast, which allowed us to do the e-sign process, which has really streamlined our admissions process. Um, uh, we've been very happy so far with uh, the way it has helped us out, and uh, I find it to be a very stable system and um, very thrilled to have FormFast in, in here at Christus. Excellent, and, and I know that was a, that was a big project across multiple facilities. Uh, how many facilities did that end up uh, with each signature? How many did you roll that out to? Well, we have 23 primary facilities, but we also rolled it out to many of our clinics and ancillary sites, you know, like our cancer centers and rehab centers and things like that that are not actually part of the um, uh, the, the hospital facilities. So we we have five servers. 
Uh, the most we have on one server in the way of hospitals is seven, uh, but we have, uh, like I say, a number of, of outlying clinics and um, uh, other ancillary uh, facilities that are also on FormFast. Great. And and as you uh, you did that rollout, did you do more of a big bang approach, or did you just start with a, a few key facilities and 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 take it step by step? Well, our facilities are separated by region, um, uh, primarily by their geographic locations, and um, we have uh, five servers. So we had we actually have eight regions, and uh, three of our regions were were small, uh, two of them with one facility and one with two facilities. So we combined those onto one server. Uh, we have. Um, our two largest regions are seven hospitals and six hospitals, and then we have uh, 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 the others are, are, you know, three and four. So that's how we did it. And we rolled them out one at one server at the time. So when that server went live, everybody that, that was going to be on that server went live at the same time. Excellent. And we have a, uh, a question for you from the chat. Um, uh, representative from Bristol Hospital wants to know uh, what uh, signature devices you're using for eSIG. They're, they said they're using the, the Topaz devices and want to know what you're using. I believe Topaz is what we're using. Uh, it was it was pretty much left up to each region, um, which what you know what they wanted to order for their signature devices. Uh, but I believe most of them went with Topaz. And it's a it's great feedback. There's a lot of different devices out there, and as we alluded to yesterday, uh, FormFast supports uh, pretty much all of them, uh, very agnostic to the devices. Um, so a lot of flexibility there. Uh, great. Um, I'm going to go to uh, Margie from IASIS. Uh, fill us in on, on your uh, transition to, from manual processes to FormFast. When we started with FormFest, we were on a system called Optio, and all of our admission packets were built on criteria, so we had a very um, small portion of um, electronic. The rest of our forms were all managed by the individual facilities, and they were uploaded by the facilities into that particular server. When we went to FormFest, the whole process changed. We moved all of the admission packets into FormFast, built everything on criteria to which we were very limited with on the other one. And that is one of the, the greatest things that I have found has been the ability to take individual forms and print them where I need them through this admission process and when I need them. And it's, that, that has just been fabulous. Um, during the admission process, we also brought up electronic signature, and we used the Topaz signatures, uh, the sick pads at our outpatient registrations, our breast centers, and then we also have rolled out to every facility except for three, the iPads. So we have put our iPads in the ER departments, and we've set it all up to where, based on criteria, we know who's going to need a, a packet that's going to print physically print or who's going to be able to obtain the electronic signatures. We have cut so much paper from being printed in our main admission areas. It's amazing. One facility went from eight reams of paper a week to three. That is how much we cut the paper when we started with really automating the admission packets. The forms, our general forms from web form imprint, um, it's, that too has been amazing because we've streamlined the process with the reports that I'm able to pull. We, um, our forms are all being reviewed in a timely manner. When a form gets updated, our process is for the facilities to send the forms to corporate. We update all forms. The facilities have no access to any of the servers. So we update the forms, we push them out, and it's like, um, it's instant. It's just, it's, it's, Everything is done in a timely manner, and, and if a drug changes and we need to get that form pushed out, it can be done within a matter of 30 minutes from notification that the form needs to change. The form's designer at the facility makes the change. She shoots it up to us. We push that form out, and it's, there's, there's just nothing antiquated about it anymore. Fantastic.
And I understand that you're using uh, web form imprint for non-clinical forms too, correct? Yes, we are. We, um, based on our ISIS um, requirements, we decided back uh, right after we got all of the clinical forms brought up that we would start housing all forms, regardless of what they were on web form imprint. So I just created a new category called department and then I drilled that down by what the departments were. You can set up the individual groups where you can give them authority to, you know, what forms you want to see. So if you want to lock everybody out from your HR forms except for HR, you can set that group up in there and you can actually, you can limit it. But we, we uh, built a separate template for those and we, um, it's our goal by mid-June to have all of the forms that used to be housed on the individual um, servers in the hospital or on websites to be put into web form imprint. It's a big job. <laughs> <laughs> so what's been the, the, the biggest uh, 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 strategy that you've used to, to be able to, to manage all those different forms? What's the, the one piece of advice you would you would give for managing large numbers of uh, surfaces? Um, well, that's, a, that's a hard question. <laughs> and I'll ask Glenda as well, because I know that she has a lot of surfaces uh, actually being used. Well, I have a forms committee, so, you know, I'm like Glenda is in a lot of ways. Everything goes through an approval process. That's one of the things that I, I, I noticed on the, um, presentation you gave today, I didn't get an opportunity to ask you a question, but I'm going to really look at that fast flow process now for my forms committee forms, that process to get them all pulled in to where it can be streamlined and I'm hoping, I'm hoping seriously that I can jump it from one process from that fast flow into web form imprint after the approval process has been done. But I've got a bunch of questions. I've already sent Brad an email and said, hey, we need to talk. <laughs> uh, but um, that is uh, that, that fast flow I can see becoming an absolutely um, fabulous tool for managing the forms approval process that, that we go through because our forms, once the form is designed, I mean, we put them through pretty rigorous processes once it's designed it has to go to the forms committee. They take a look at it. They determine if that form is, is anywhere in any of our other forms. We look at it as um, if, if it's a, a doctor form, MEC, it goes to the MEC committee, and then it'll go to the pharmacy committee. So, I mean, there's a whole routing approval process there. Then it comes back um, to the committee for approval, but who knows how many times that form had to be changed in between that time, because that's, that's information that we currently can't track. But it looked to me like form, that form fast flow process could track all of that for us. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's another process that we can help streamline um, that would help you, the users, the form fast customers out. Yeah. Uh, while we're talking about the, the forms committee, any other thoughts from the rest of the group on uh, challenges with the uh, forms of approvals or, or best practices for how to streamline that process? Uh, this is Glenda. I, I will say that we're still in, in the uh, struggle to standardize our clinical forms, and, and part of that struggle comes from uh, our facilities all were pretty much uh, left to their own devices for so many years so that we're having to bring all the forms into one place and then uh, uh, try to come up with a consensus between all the facilities that yes, this is what we want for that clinical form. And it has been a challenge, but in the end, it's going to be well worth it. I agree. Any other thoughts on, uh, on managing uh, working with the forums committee? I would just recommend um, kind of along the same lines as the, the previous lady just mentioned is standardizing forms and don't be afraid to combine forms. We, we've kind of started taking a look back at some of our forms that have been built over the years and we're and looking at them and say, well, this one kind of is similar to this one. Can we get together and, and, and make them one? It makes, makes it a lot easier on the, the providers and even managing uh, the forms because 
we're finding out, okay, well, it got changed on this form. Well, did something get changed on this form or should it have been changed on this form? So having, not having a different form for every little thing, that was our initial, I guess, take on it several years back when we first implemented. And now we're going back and saying, hey, we need to, to relook at this. Great. I want to continue on and uh, allow everyone else to share their uh, their story, um, their use of FormFast. Uh, let's go to Sharon Clayton. Um, we've been on FormFast since about 2001. Um, we're, our main form uh, FormFast product we use is the Form Designer, um, and we use we're a Meditech Magic facility, so it. Uh, we use it through uh, Form Central and Meditech. And a uh, big thing that we, we really push with it is the making sure patient, um, the forms are printed out with the patient barcodes on them, the form IDs on them, because then that way once they're completed and they're scanned back into our electronic record system, we really don't have to touch that form because we know it's got the right, right name and it's got the right patient on it. So it's just going to the correct location. And that's really helped us from a standpoint of, you know, being able to streamline our processes in HIM. It helps on the floor. They don't have to have all of the paper reserves. They know that every time I'm printing it, I have the most current form that is compliant with our regulations that we're required to have, you know, all of those things. So it's really helped us from, from that standpoint. Excellent. And Stacy, I'll turn it to, to you as well. Um, we've been with FormFast for about, um, since about 2001, so about 14 years or so. Um, and we also used Optio as our forms printing before we went to FormFast. And really all that was printing out for that was just a basic face sheet. Um, so then we... Um, with FormFast, then we rolled out um, we rolled out our admission jobs and um, form imprint right off the bat. Um, we printed 1,500 W2s, AP payroll checks, um, all our, our admission jobs. Um, we have eliminated a lot of that stuff. Um, we had McKesson series at that point. We've upgraded our um, HIS system to Paragon, and so we do do a lot of it through Paragon. Um, but we use the admissions job to, I'm sorry, I probably have terrible background noise. I'm doing something right outside my office. I apologize. Um, um, but we use um, FormFast then to print any extra copies around the hospital when the patient's admitted, um, charge sheets, um, some face sheets, um, things like that. Um, we also just um, implemented e-signature about two months ago, so we're kind of still in the process of figuring that all out. We do have it going in our main admissions area um, and our ER, um, but we have a couple um, clinics around town that we still have to roll that out with. So we haven't saved much paper with that yet, but um, I see that that will be a, a huge savings on what we're printing once we can turn off our consents and everything else, once we have it completely rolled out. Excellent. And, and since we do have a, a couple of folks on the line who have used other products, Opio in particular, um, maybe we'll talk a little bit about that, that process, about converting your forms to FormFast. Can you describe what that process was like? Well, when we did it, we only really just had the face sheet printing through there. So we kind of just started from scratch, really, because we weren't using Optio very much. So at first, I think we just kind of used the same type of form. But and in Optio, I, I did not work with it very much. But I think it was pretty time consuming to change anything in there, um, where in FormFast, it, I could probably do that in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> 
We used Optio, um, and when we converted our forms, well, FormFast did most of the form conversion for us, and we weren't able, we gave them PCLs, but we weren't able to utilize them. But today, when I need a form that we still have an Optio that we didn't bring over, it's very easy to convert those forms. All you have to do is go in there, pull it up and say print to the forms designer, and it will pull it over like, just like any other form, like a Word, a PDF, anything else. Uh, it brings usually a couple extra pages with it because the headers and the footers and everything that's built in the background in Optio come along, but you, you can get all of that text and because you already have it in a template, it usually fits right into your template. So I can convert an Optio form in a matter of um, three minutes. You mean uh, take, taking an Optio form and convert it into a FormFast form? Yeah, yeah, it's that Excellent. simple. Yeah, I know there, there are some other customers who, uh, or uh, future customers, we hope, who are, are thinking about uh, our solution um, moving from a, di a different uh, provider. So that's, that's great feedback. Um, we kind of mentioned a few uh, systems that you're using, your EHR system, but I thought it might be good to talk about uh, the other systems that you're using in conjunction with FormFast. And I'll open it up to uh, anyone in the group. Um, tell us about how FormFast is complementing those other systems. This is Glenda. I, uh, we use Metatech Clot Server version, and uh, we go through FormFast then into HPF, and it's totally seamless from our admission process. The forms, because of the way they're set up with HPF, just go right in. It's just been awesome. Excellent. We, we, we love to hear that. Our process has been awesome, too, for that. They go directly into HPF from FormFast, so it's, it's really good. And I, I should say for the, the record that that you guys haven't been prompted for all the uh, <laughs> superlative uh, comments. We, we love to hear that, that positive feedback. This is Stacy, and we use um, McKesson Paragon, and um, they have pretty good form printing um, for admissions, but it does have some limitations that I can't send it everywhere that I want to, and so form fast sits on top of it and allows us to send that form over to the other building or to another department that wants an extra copy or needs something additional. So that's worked well, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to do that. Good feedback. So for those uh, those customers who have been using FormFast for a while, they want to do more with it or they want to optimize their platform, what's some advice that you can give on ways to, to improve the system itself or improve the processes around it? And once again, this will be for, for anyone. No, no takers. Well, I might uh, uh, re, re ask a question um, for for new users, for those who are just starting with FormFast. Any uh, words of advice that you have for them? Um, any uh, steps that you took that were especially beneficial? I, I'll I. I will say that our the form imprint, our clinical departments absolutely love that product. And I can't say that about a, a lot of our software that we have that our clinical departments don't complain about. They never complain about it. They love it. They love the packets that they can print out and just how easy it is to use. So I would say it's it's one of our our top pieces of technology that they use, so. I will say, too, that when we were in the process of rolling out FormPass, we had a lot of pushback in the facilities. They were like, another system to learn, oh my gosh, you know, this is going to be so hard. 
and the simplicity of web form imprint, I mean, I can't even tell you. By the time we left the facilities um, in one training day of just walking around, everybody knew how to print their forms and select a printer and pick their patients. And it was, it was just, it's just a very simple, um, intuitive type of uh, product for an end user to be able to use. It is not some of the more difficult IT systems that we have out there that we do training on. So um, it's, a very, it's a very easy product to use. Once again, we, we, we love to hear that. It looks like we have uh, we've lost audio for a couple of folks. Uh, looks like Glenda might have lost audio. Uh, we'll get try to get her back, and Naomi as well. Um, Philip, if you could help uh, them reconnect. Uh, in the meantime, that, that's, that's something I did want to speak about is about the user adoption, um, about how you train your end users to use the product. Um, can you share a little bit about that process? Uh, I created a cheat sheet um, that showed the actual um, menu at the top with drop down all of the drop downs that they had an option to utilize, and um, the actual system where the forms were at, the job tree, and I broke it all down into uh, descriptors so that they would know what they were doing. And then on the back side, I actually put how they could drill down the, um, the different departments. Uh, the, across the top menu row so that they could do a uh, um, patient type or they could do the date of admission. And, and I, sh I showed them how on the back side of my, my cheat sheet how all of that worked. And half of the time, by the time I would get there and start walking around, most of them had already pulled their forms, added it to their favorites, had everything set up, and um, were ready to go. So um, we did a we did a walk around session of training and we did the cheat sheets and we we just never had any issue with training. Anyone else? With ours, it's very. I mean, since we're just doing the. Uh, like the Form Central through the with Forms Fast through Meditech, um, it's very easy. So once again, just do a cheat sheet with screen print uh, screenshots, and um, it helps them know where to go in and um, where to find their form. So. Excellent. It looks like we do have a, a few. Uh, Questions come in from via the chat and the Q and A, so maybe we'll address some of those. Uh, Margie, it looks like you addressed this uh, via the Q and A, but for everyone else, um, for the sites using iPads, which EHR system are you using? We're using McKesson HPF throughout our entire company, so they're they're all hooked up to that. Okay. Uh, another question: um, ha Have any of the panelists had experience placing color pictures on order sheets or armbands for pe positive patient identification purposes? And if so, what equi equipment is recommended? We have not done anything of that sort at our facility. And uh, for, the, uh, uh, for the person with a question, feel free to reach out to us so we can talk about uh, options for uh, what you're looking to do. And I'm, uh, let's see, there's another question about um, Cerner. Uh, I don't believe anywhere on the panel is using Cerner, uh, correct? And then we have Meditech and, and uh, McKesson and Epic represented, is that correct? Okay. Another question, uh, is anyone using mobile devices for e-signature in mission areas with Meditech? Um, and I believe there is a customer, uh, I don't know if they're on the, uh, as part of the user group meeting, um, who is doing that, is using the mobile version of e-sig at registration. Um, anyone on our panel uh, doing that? 
No, we are not. E a, wows with an e oh, looks like we have uh, Glenda back. Yeah, can you hear me? <laughs> there we are. Looks like you're okay. reconnected. We have um, we use wows with the e-sig device and they work just fine. Great. And looking to see what other questions we have here. Good number of questions coming in. Uh, Tony wants to share that we had a dedicated team of two people who went unit by unit to train the unit clerks, who trained everyone else on the units. It looks like there's some good suggestions uh, for our development team. Uh, to our audience, I really appreciate all the uh, the feedback. Keep that coming. And looking to see if there's anything else in the chat for our panelists. Uh, another question, um, who typically manages the forms within the hospital? Uh, additional comment here, we currently have a print shop and have a forms management group, but no one uh, wants to really manage this, they say. So uh, can you um, share some advice about uh, managing the forms and, and setting up a forms management forms committee group? At our facility, it start, when we started out with it, it started back in 2001, it was under materials management. And that was simply because in the time of the paper form process, you're, they're the ones that ordered your form or ordered our forms and, and went through that process. Um, back in about 2010, uh, 2011, we brought it over under HIM and um, tightened up the forms committee process. Um, a little bit more and having that person within my department allowed me to work one-on-one -on -one with them for making sure forms that were compliant with regulations, um, making sure it went through all the steps of the process and people weren't trying to circumvent the, the committee because they had something they really wanted passed through really quick. Um, so ours came into HIM and it has been, it has worked really well um, having that. And then it's kind of expanded to my forms person now is under transcription because she has the the pharmacology knowledge and all of that sort of thing to help identify errors in, in forms and the grammar and all of that sort. Excellent. Another question, uh, because I know a lot of uh, customers are thinking about using FormFast in different ways. We've talked about FastFlow and how that can be used in administrative areas. Um, what other areas could you imagine using FormFast in? And Margie, I know that you're uh, using that in some, some different areas. Uh, how about the, the rest of you? At Christus, we're still in our infancy with uh, FormFast, so we haven't expanded anything past um, ad, uh, admissions and clinical forms. Gotcha. And that's, that's typically where uh, um, most customers start. In fact, the majority of our customer base usually starts with those admission forms and nursing forms. Um, let's see, looks like some other feedback coming in um, for our team. Um, another question um, uh, that uh, this is just reading some of the uh, the chats coming in here. With on this panel, we're um, we have a mix of groups, uh, IT and HIM. Can you speak a little bit about uh, the value and the for an HIM director? And I believe uh, they'll go to to Margie and to uh, to Sharon. From the HIM perspective, I really like like it because of the fact that I think I mentioned a couple of times here, um, the registration or not registration regulation portion of you know joint commission and CMS, and you have to have signature date time on your forms, and your orders have to have you know 
certain formats and different things like that and in, in your drug formularies and stuff. So it's an easy way to control the forms and there's one person to go to. You don't have multiple areas putting stuff out there. Um, it's just for us it has been wonderful to have that centralized location and it's so easy to add a form to a packet or change a form or update a form um, if there's a regulatory issue and you know because this is where it gets printed out of that it's going to be instant once you have it, the final approval to push it live. So from an HIM perspective that has been wonderful on our side. One of the things I'd like to throw in is the fact that um, utilizing the barcodes and cold feeding so many of our documents. Um, HIM scans so many forms that with the utilization of FormFast, we've been able to trim a lot of the um, forms actually being scanned um, manually and actually cold fed directly into HPF. That's one of the biggest advantages, along with having updated forms and the ease of updating them that I have found, and it gives you a better um, control of the forms. But ours is scanning. Ours has been really, it's, we've been on a, a main mission to cut down as much of the manual scanning as we can, and that is uh, a, a, an advantage in using the FormFast system. Excellent. And then how about on the uh, IT side? Uh, Stacy, Glinda? Are you asking about the advantages of it being on the IT side? Yeah, what, what's what's the biggest uh, benefit that it's, it's adding for uh, for you working in IT? Um, well, we work very closely with HIM, who, who does run our forms committee here, but uh, uh, our IM department does the support for all of our applications, so that's why it ended up in, in our IM. Gotcha. And I, I agree. This is Stacy. Um, I've just had it for 14 years, so nobody else wants it. <laughs> <laughs> and real, but, um, you know, I, IT has their hands in everything here and I'm just that's about probably what it is like anywhere so um, I guess having that broad perspective helps when a form comes in and how it should be taken care of and if it's anywhere else and I just think that, that that's that's a benefit but we work closely with all the other departments as well so Excellent. I just want to share some of the uh, the comments coming through via the chat and the QA that maybe not everyone can uh, see here. Uh, Alan wanted to comment that uh, that they're using uh, FormFast in in every department in the hospital, clinical and non-clinical. I uh, have about 2,000 forms in, in use. Thanks for sharing that. Um, and and uh, I should mention that uh, we want to celebrate your successes. Um, so uh, feel free to reach out to us after the event or uh, via the chat now, um, and let us know what you're you're proud of, uh, uh, so we can feature you in events like this, and case studies and other types of uh, uh, ways to celebrate the, the the work that you've done. Uh, looks like we're uh, clo uh, cl closing in on the end of this session. Uh, to conclude, I wanted to give you a chance to, uh, to share any final thoughts and uh, um, maybe share the, the biggest value that FormFast has brought to your hospital. And uh, we'll go around the group. Um, I'll start with Sharon. Um, so you're what, what no, the value it's brought to our facility. What's the, what's the the biggest thing uh, that, that's been the bug value to your hospital via FormFast? Um, I think just the stand, like standardization and having that control on your forms, um, and then also um, from HIM perspective, um, the amount of time uh, we have a new scanning and archiving system that is uh, very robust on reading the barcodes and, and workflow type of thing there. And so that has helped us streamline our processes in HIM 
um, by having the forms barcoded so that we're not we're not touching the forms and we've actually been able to through attrition you know reduce our FTEs which finance really likes so um, not only is it help with with uh, printing costs but it's also helping from a, a personnel and processing cost financially perfect Stacy, how about you? Um, I would say our biggest benefit is the fact that everyone across the board is using the same form. Um, it used to be that they would have a pile in the drawer and be from two years ago. So we have totally gotten rid of all of that and they use FormFast to go to for their forms. So they're using the most current. Excellent. It looks like we're, we've still lost Naomi, unfortunately. So we will go to Glenda. Uh, I believe the streamlining of the processes and the fact that we have cut down on so much manual paper and uh, manual scanning and the uh, that uh, it, it has been um, uh, very beneficial. And the the eSign process makes it so much easier. Uh, the fact that those 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 signed documents go straight to HPF, and we don't have to worry about them getting lost or somebody failing to scan them. So it's it's been very beneficial for that. Perfect. And then Margie, we'll go to you. Well, I I concur with the rest of the group. The automation of the forms, the admission process, uh, streamlining all of that, standardization. Um, the one system for forms, the electronic signature, I mean, I'm with the rest of the group. This has been a, a lot of the time-saving efforts, uh, not only cost, but um, just processes that have been cleaned up and redefined and um, streamlined. Fantastic. I want to thank you all for uh, for taking the time to be on the panel. I know it uh, means a lot to uh, our users, those who are looking to learn more about FormFast, so I appreciate you, you doing that. Moving on to the uh, next section, section we're going to uh, move forward with our user spotlight. This will be another chance for one of our customers to share their experiences. And for this section, we are joined by Becky Mixnesby. Becky, are you there? I am. Excellent. And uh, for your presentation, I'll pass you the ball. I'll make you the presenter, and then you can click on the share icon at the top of the screen and share your presentation. Okay. All right. First of all, I'd like to um, thank FormFast for the opportunity to be part of this presentation. We've had a great support system through FormFast throughout their software, and we really appreciate all of their services that they've brought to us. Um, my name is Becky McNesby. I am an Applications Analyst here in our Information Systems Department at Conway Regional Medical Center. Uh, just a little background about myself. I began working at Conway Regional in 1995, and I've worked in surgery for about 13 years before moving to Information Systems in 2008 as a non-clinical analyst. Can everybody see my monitor okay? I believe we can. Okay, good. All right. So uh, just a, a little, um, as far as our organization is, is uh, concerned, um, Coma Regional is a 150-bed hospital, 154-bed hospital, a nonprofit, located in Conway, Arkansas, which is about 30 minutes north of Little Rock. Um, we utilize the Meditech uh, 6.07 documentation system. Uh, we transferred from the MAGIC, then we transferred to Magic Client Server Mixed Platform, and then we went straight to the Meditech 6.0 program, and we're currently in the budgeting and planning phases to transition to Meditech 6.1. So um, we've stuck with the Meditech system, and it has done um, really well with the FormFast software. Um, we have uh, been the recipient of our Governor's Quality Award for the past two years. Um, we're top 10 in the nation for women's health in 2015, according to Care Checks, and we have been a five-star recipient for several of our services in 2015, according to Health Grades. Um, we offer several 
um, wide variety of inpatient and outpatient services. Some of our inpatient services include acute medical care, uh, women's center that services women's services from C-sections, birthing suites, and post-surgical care surgery. Um, we have 10 surgical suites, 36 surgeons, and nine different surgical specialties, including open heart and da Vinci procedures. Uh, our emergency department is a level three trauma center that sees approximately 42,000 patients annually. Um, our imaging and laboratory services provide both in-house and out outside testing for our community. Um, and we have senior health services in a, a freestanding rehabilitation rehabilitation hospital. Some of our outpatient services are just as diverse as the inpatient ones that we have. Um, we have a diagnostic imaging center that's located off campus. They do um, outpatient imaging and imaging for other various physician offices. Um, our ambulatory surgery center, wound healing center, occupational speech and physical therapy services in five different locations. Um, I have home care cardiovascular rehab, car time, multiple rural health clinics, and a 70,000 square foot health and fitness center. So as you can see, um, we have had some very large challenges in implementing FormFast throughout not only our in inpatient uh, within the main hospital, but our outlying services as well. Um, and from the previous discussion, um, our processes sound like the before we used FormFast, pretty much like everybody else. Um, each unit developed their own forms. We really didn't have a print room or organizational um, wide approval process or review process. They pretty much, if you needed a form, they built it within, they had a secretary or somebody built it within their department and they kept it within their department. They made copies, you know, put them in filing cabinets and, and, and that, that type of thing. Um, there was really no procedure in place to make sure that the regulations were met on forms, like you had to document certain things due to regulation agencies, um, you know, joint commission, that kind of thing. Really wasn't anything there to, um, to, to make sure that that was included on any of the forms. Um, some of the obstacles with the old process, the duplication of the forms, of course, if, if one nursing unit needed a form and another nursing unit needed a form for the same problem, they created two different forms for the same issue. Um, there was a lot of duplication of information across forms where you had to um, document on one form, you would have to put patient information on another form, you would have to, you know, it was just redundant to put that same patient information on the other form as well. Um, updating and tracking forms was, um, not easy. You had to, um, number one, find the person who created the form and hope that they saved it on a computer somewhere. And you know, staff turnover made that just an, an, a nightmare. And you also had to worry about where you had to store the forms. Cabinets, um, storage cabinets took up space. Um, filing cabinets are, were everywhere. You know, you just really didn't know exactly where each one of them was stored. Um, and cost of revising forms was high because you had to dispose of all of the copies that you had beforehand and replace them with reams of paper of the, the newer copies. So some of the reasons that we decided to use FormFast was, uh, number one, they were a collaborating partner with Meditech, which was our documentation system. Uh, we were looking to standardize forms throughout each facility or site, and we wanted to be able to create a method to streamline the retrieval of forms quickly and effectively. Reducing costs by eliminating the stockpiles of unused forms and reducing the number of outsourced forms was another consideration. Um, patient information is actually printed on the form, so there's no more missing or unidentified forms laying around or left out of the chart. And automated printing decreased the confusion for staff on which forms were needed for specific patient care based on the criteria that we set at admission. So only forms that were actually needed were printed instead of them pulling packets and then having to throw away certain forms that were included in the packet. Our current FormFast software was purchased in March of 2005. It actually wasn't implemented until August of 2007. I'm not quite sure. I wasn't here during the initial implementation, but um, I know there were some extenuating circumstances that prevented it from being implemented right away. Um, we, we implemented form imprint and fast print, or what we called online at the time. We have roughly 2,400 forms currently in use across multiple facilities, including our main hospital, our rehab hospital, our freestanding imaging center, and our home care facility. 
during the implementation, it was my understanding that FormFast came on site and did some training for three of our analysts. Um, online and form and print were built at the same time, and the three analysts were assigned each. One was assigned to fast print or online, and two were assigned to form and print. Some of the obstacles that they encountered during implementation was the staff buy-in, and as most of you know, a lot of people don't like to change. So um, they were, were resistant at first. Um, they would kind of hide forms in, in filing cabinets or in drawers or things like that until they learned how easy it was to use. Once they learned it was easy to use, they pretty much um, started using FormFast and, and, and liked it from there on. Um, some of the other obstacles were once they got used to using FormFast, they would pre-print packets. Um, if they knew a patient was coming in, they would pre-print a pre-print a packet instead of waiting for the patient to be uh, admitted. Um, that caused some issues because the forms were not labeled or they came in with a different admission criteria based off of what they needed and so forms had to be thrown away and reprinted. Um, communication regarding updates was always an issue. Um, policies changed throughout the hospital and that always didn't get communicated back to information systems. So uh, the people responsible for maintaining the forms were not aware of the changes and those changes did not get made in a timely manner. Um, communication between the analysts. Because two analysts was building in print and one analyst was building our online, um, the communication really needs to be there between your key people who are either building and generating or revising forms. I can't stress that enough um, because you really do need guidelines that are set and everybody on those same guidelines so that it works smoothly without having any, any problems. It makes everything on the back end work so much faster and smoother. The way our current FormFast system is designed, we use online to generate the forms and print them to various locations upon admissions, depending upon the criteria that we set within the FormFast software. This prevents the, the patient or hospital staff having to carry a stack of papers with them to their location. They, it's already, forms are already printed and are, are ready for them upon arrival. On-demand printing is used by our frontline staff uh, for forms that are needed during the patient's stay that weren't anticipated at admission. Um, these are very easy to retrieve from form and print. They're not very hard to find. It's just easy for them to, to just go in there, click a patient, click what they need, and print it out with all the information on it. Um, we did include barcodes in the lower corner of our form to assist with scanning and archiving, so the forms are correctly added to the patient's EMR. Our forms at the current time are not automatically um, sent to the EMR. We actually have scanning and archiving actually scan those forms in, but since they do have a barcode included, we can identify that through our, our Meditech software. And uh, it can automatically place that in the patient's uh, electronic chart without having to know where it needs to be put within that chart. Um, this year, we were budgeted for an update project. Um, currently, we were running Form Imprint 4.12, which was a very, very, very old version of Form Imprint. Um, we decided to update to the web form imprint because it was web-based. It was easier to update and makes things a lot faster. Um, during the previous implementation, um, the staff that were creating the forms did not take advantage of using form templates. Therefore, if we changed the name of our hospital or if we just changed a logo or if we decided to change, um, you know, things on the patient label or anything on the patient label, um, we had to go in and touch every individual form. So that made it very difficult for when we made changes to form fast. Um, we were always reluctant to make any big major changes because we would have to go in and touch every single form. With this new update to the web form imprint, we're taking advantage of the form templates and converting all 2,400 forms to a template. Um, so that's something that you want to keep in mind if you are a new form fast person. Um, take advantage of those form templates. Those will save you a lot of time and trouble in the, in the long run. Um, we are streamlining our, our criteria and condensing forms. I know I heard some of the people in the roundtable discussion talking about condensing forms. We're identifying forms that have the same information on it and trying to either 
point the criteria to those forms, or we're actually condensing the forms and making the two into one. Um, adding and changing criteria, print aliases, print choosers, all of those have changed since the initial implementation. We've added up different departments, we've renamed departments, printer names have changed. Um, so all of that's getting revised and re redone. Um, we are including frontline staff in the decision making process this time. Um, previously, we really, you know, really wasn't sure exactly how FormFast was going to work. So the team of three just worked with what they could and, and built it the best way they knew how. Um, but there was really no staff buy-in for that, and so when they were presented, the staff were presented with it, they were like, well this works great in an office setting, but it doesn't work for our flow up here. So we had a lot of changing and revising and everything like that to do. If you include staff on the front end, um, we have what we call shared governance here at the hospital. It's a method to do change management, and we take it to shared governance, and what we're trying to do is uh, implement a forms committee where the frontline staff have some say-so in what they want their list to look like so that it's more functional for them and then we can build it based off of their recommendations. Now of course not all recommendations can be um, can be implemented but um, we do want them to have some sort of say so so that they have more buy-in into the project and making those decisions and making it more user friendly. Um, some key points to, su to a successful implementation. Um, you really do need to have careful thought and planning prior to actually starting any of your projects. You need to lay it out on paper. You need to talk about it with a, your committee that you form and decide where you want to go and how you want to utilize it. And then lay it out on paper to see if it will flow like you want it to. Because building it in there and then changing your mind afterwards is a lot more cumbersome. Um, you have a good approval and or review process in place. You really do need to uh, set up a forms committee get those people involved, um, make it to where it's not a slow process. I know some of the committees that we have formed in the past, um, you know, the doctor would just say, well, just forget it. I don't want to, I don't want to mess with it because it's going to take too long to get it implemented. So you really need a process that's quick, easy, and effective. Um, you need to standardize how key elements of the form should be presented. Um, we have forms now in the current form system where the logo is on one side of the page or, the, or it's on the other side or you know, the barcode is not exactly in the same place, which makes scanning and archiving a little bit difficult. This is where your form templates will come into play, where you um, put your, your key elements on there and you, you preset them and you don't move them. Um, those are the things that you really need to be careful with. Um, your form design team should communicate effectively. If you have more than one person um, building forms, you need to be able to communicate both back and forth very effectively and very clearly and concisely on what needs to happen. Um, if you have different ideas and different thoughts on how things should work, then that's going to be problematic in the end. Um, you need to have a good naming convention in place before you begin building your forms. Um, the naming convention needs to be clear, something that is easily defined. If you want to define like form numbers or if you want to define just um, the actual name of the forms, you need to, to define that on the form somewhere and you need to be clear and concise with your naming conventions. And you need to set those in stone before you get started building because once you start building and having to go back and rechange forms, it can break things later on. Um, staff leadership and buy-in, I can't stress this enough. Um, you must include them in the, in the decision-making process in order for a successful implementation. Some places you can just, you know, roll out and say, okay, here, here it is, and this is what you're going to use, and then you have no choice. Um, I don't know how that works. Most places here you can get some, some feedback and some, some kickback from the physicians, um, which the physicians, you really don't utilize FormFast as much, but you've got nurses who, who do, and, and, and you really need them to have that buy-in for successful implementation to make it easier. Um, communicate and have regular calls with your FormFast implementation team. Um, setting up that, that rapport with your FormFast team is a must. Um, I have had nothing but great success with the team that I have with this new upgrade. Um, they have given me a lot of guidance, some things that I really wasn't sure exactly where I was at 
um, before. Um, since I was not in on the initial implementation, I had to do a lot of training and some uh, revising of how I, I wanted our things built. Um, I am probably one of the only analysts here that work with forms. Um, so usually it all comes down to me, and the, uh, I have a couple of backup analysts here that help with anything that needs to happen whenever it goes down or if it happens to go down um, after hours. I do um, definitely uh, encourage you to engage in the FormFast health check overview to determine if you are taking advantage of your FormFast software or if you need help um, implementing your FormFast. Um, they can help you do that. Um, that, is, uh, that is always a helpful tool to have. Um, currently, we are going to implement web form imprint this year. Um, we look to implement the eSign product in 2016. We had planned on doing that along with the web form imprint, but in evaluating where we stood with our, our current imprint and deciding that we needed to just kind of scrap everything and start from scratch, um, we decided to put that off until next year, which I think will be okay. Um, I, I've gotten some good um, information from this user group regarding the, the devices that we need to use. Um, and then the FastFlow product is being evaluated for future um, future installation. So um, I hope I've covered everything that, that you need to cover. And if you have any questions or problems, you, know, you can contact me as a, um, as a reference if you need to. Um, my information is here up on the screen if you need to take care of that. Um, I can always be available to ask questions or if you need to you know, see what our process is or would like to some advice. Feel free to contact me at any time. Excellent. Excellent overview. Very good advice for 